Welcome back to The Grind. Today we're going to talk about the basics of PvP in War Dragons. We'll talk about the specific PvP events in different videos, but this will be just a free-to-play perspective on how to best optimize the amount of points you can get. The main page for when you're attacking in PvP is shown here. You get to pick between a basic attack, a super attack, a wildfire, and a mega attack. As a free-to-play player, it's best to do the basic attack as much as possible because you get more points for each energy that you spend. The super attacks and mega attacks are great if you're short on time and you need to score some points if you have the resources to continue refilling and spending inner fires. The main uh, currency in PVPs is inner fire and refills. Well, I guess the main currency is real life money because to really succeed in PvP events, as far as the team strategy goes, it costs a lot of money. However, um, that aside, as a free-to-play player, you can still score some pretty good points and get a decent amount of sigils for your effort, but it does take a lot of effort. It's as I call it a grind. So the best, like I said, option, if you really want to score as many points as possible and have the time available, just keep grinding out the basic attacks over and over. Um, I have never done a mega attack because it seems to be a waste of um, resources for me because my resources are limited. Um, I will do some super attacks if I'm short on time. If I do a refill, like a 100 energy refill, I'll probably do a couple super attacks and grind out the rest. Um, but it really all depends on how much time you have and how much resources you have available. And as your resources allow, I recommend doing the 100 energy refill every time it's uh, refreshed. If you have more resources and you want to do a little more, I usually will do a single refill before the 100 energy refill, um, sometimes two, but I recommend doing them before the 100 energy refill because it ends up it costing less if you do it that way. So here's an example of an attack that I um, did repeatedly this event. I sped it up in the interest of time. Um, I cut off the beginning a little bit. There was about a 140 mil defense base, um, but because it was a long base, it was pretty manageable. Um, it can be hard to find the, the right base in PvP events. You want to get the highest level possible so you get the most amount of points. Uh, try to find some teammates who can help by telling you which ones aren't so bad, um, and then you just kind of do it over and over. For this base, I wasn't strong enough to take out the farms in one run, so I would follow behind with Ember, and so I'd do this base when I wanted to use some inner fires, otherwise I would do a different base. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my first main tip is do the single attacks with as much as you can um, if you have the time, otherwise you can do some super attacks. But the another big bonus is the wildfire runs. So the more single attacks you do, the more wildfire runs you'll win or you'll get to use, which can have a significant impact on your score. So this event, I was able to make it to the 42K milestone for the 425 sigils. Um, that's a pretty good goal to have, in my opinion, for a free-to-play player. You use a reasonable amount of uh, resources, but I found that I'm able to regain them um, by the next event in general. I have uh, once or twice gone all the way up to the 500 sigil milestone, which is the 80k point mark. Um, it does take a significant more amount of resources, so I don't know that it's worth it um, to do frequently because it's only 500 more sigils and um, then you're, you may not have as much resources for the next event and you don't want to be stuck with a low milestone. So that's it for today. I hope you learn something and benefit from this uh, video. It's a little longer than I hoped, but um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.